Hello, hello. Welcome to today's interview. I'm really excited to bring you today's guest. This is my photographer. She's my brand photographer, Alice Patterson. And she she changed my life and she changed my business. And I don't really know that she knows how she did this to me, but I'm having her on today because what she does in her business is she helps women entrepreneurs with their branding love their business more. And in fact, she actually learned how to scale her business and created a whole other spoke of her business called loving my company. So she's a brand photographer and she, I'm going to, she's going to tell you all about what she does, but all month we have been talking about how we can love our businesses more because as creative women in entrepreneurship, it can be exhausting to do all the things with all the details. And Alice and I talk about this a lot <laughs> in our personal life. Um, but I just want to preface today's, today's interview by saying, I would say that in probably up to 2017, when I did my first set of branding photos with Alice, I hated the way I looked in photos. I hated myself. Part of what kept me from becoming an entrepreneur for a long time was needing to be visible and seen. And I just didn't want people to see me. And my work with Alice and our relationship as client and photographer has completely changed my business, but it's also changed the level of confidence that I have. And I know that what she's doing can help you. So I just wanted to welcome her warmly and say, thank you so much for having this conversation with me today, Alice. Oh, thank you. I am so excited to be here. And <laughs> I feel like I could say literally like all those things right back at you. <laughs> Like, yes, Alice, I, I needed you as much as you needed me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I definitely needed you. And the other thing I want to say before I get into this conversation with you is, you know, that the first time I did my branding photos, I sat on those photos for almost a year before I put them out into the world because it was terrifying. Yeah. So anybody you're not alone in that unfortunately yeah. <laughs> that's why i wanted to have this conversation because i want anybody who's listening to this conversation to know that photos are a scary part of our business and being visible is scary and and you and i have both been there personally so i just yeah. wanted to preface the conversation by that yeah absolutely okay so let's get started with talking about how you help women basically love their businesses more so tell us about where you were in your business and kind of what you realized and what you had to create in your business so that you could love your own company a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. So <laughs> I, um, I've been a brand photographer, um, helping specifically, uh, creative women entrepreneurs, um, with all of their image needs. So, um, whether that's a headshot or product photography, their, um, anything for their website that they need. So all the things for their business. Um, and um, I found that a lot of the um, women were just sort of wanting more people in their photos. And so this is kind of where this new idea came from with loving my company. Um, and I think we'll talk about that a little bit more, but then personally in my own business, um, I was kind of doing a lot of different things. Like that was my, the brand photography was my main focus, but I was still kind of doing family portraits and, um, senior, senior portraits. portraits. Right. Yep. <laughs> Pretty portraits. much like anything anybody <laughs> came at me with, although I had given up, I had done weddings for a long time and I had finally pulled the plug on that. Um, so yeah, so I needed to kind of refocus my business um, as well as help the women that I was working with. I think that your struggle at that moment where you were like, I'm doing everything. I, I'm actually good at a lot of things. I'm doing a lot of things, but it's it's stressful and it um, it makes you feel so kind of wired and like stretched like taffy. That's how I always feel when I'm doing a bunch of different things. Is that what you were struggling with too? Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like you think, oh, that... I can do that. That's an easy thing I can do. And it'll bring in a little extra money. Sure, I'm going to do that. But then when you get right down to it, it's extra administration. Oh, I have to tweak this contract mm -hmm. to say what this client is getting, or I have to, um, you know, create an entirely new invoice template or whatever oh, right, it is right. that the changes are. There's like a lot of um, administrative stuff that goes with that. So I didn't even think about costing that. you 
yeah, your time. You always, what is it that you say? Your time. Oh, you your spend money. your time, your money, or your energy. Yeah, you're always going to spend something. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good point. So you were hearing from your clients that they wanted like extra people to be in their branding photos so that it looked like they were having conversations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, um, that is where, but so logistically, that was just really hard to do. Mm -hmm. So I would say, sure, we can do that. And then they would ask their friend or their clients or their sister. And then it was like, we, you know, their schedule, my schedule, friend's schedule. Um, it's hard enough to get two people, you know, on the same date. So logistically it almost never worked out. Okay. Um, so that's kind of where I had this idea of creating a membership um, where entrepreneurs sort of crowdsource model for each other. Mm. Can, you, can you talk about what that actually means and how that really works in real life? Yeah. So, um, so I'll just kind of say what loving my company is. So it's a monthly membership or it's a yearly membership with monthly photo sessions. And I find a new location for the photo sessions each month. And the women just have, you know, they just bring about three outfits and they're ready to be photographed and I've got the whole scene set up so um, they can um, do interactive photos and that's where we, we go back to what we were just talking about with um, sort of crowdsource modeling so if I'm photographing over the shoulder of one person, but I'm focused on you, you see that you're interacting and that person is sort of the perceived client or friend in your photo for your um, audience member. I remember the first time you told me about it. Actually, you told me about it in a group of people and everybody was like, this is a brilliant idea. It was amazing. Yeah, that was very exciting for me to have so many people like, audibly excited <laughs> there was the a, idea there been, was yeah <laughs> the idea had been rattling around your head for a little while right yeah it was and I always have lots of ideas and I rarely <laughs> speak them <laughs> and so it was very exciting for me to um to have the nerve to talk about it and to have such a great response and then really having your support because you were sort of the um instigator and like let's run with this Alice and help let's me make it get, happen <laughs> yeah and you helped me get that first uh two beta sessions oh yeah in one day um that I think sold out like within 24 hours yep yep yeah so, so when when you have these photo sessions and it's so funny for me to ask you this because I'm part of it and I know how it works <laughs> but I'm really trying to paint the picture for everybody else listening because it's such a great idea and it's such a game changer in somebody's business to have photos every single month, like professional photos, and then you're interacting in the photo. So you're not like stiff and stilted and like feel weird, but what do you focus on? What have you learned to focus on in these sessions to help people feel more confident and comfortable? Yeah. Just in that sense, I'm like, oh, there's so many things to talk about. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let's talk about them. <laughs> so, um, I definitely focus on, you know, individual portraits. I think that those are always going to be people's kind of go-to photos and they're very important. People want to see your face. They want to know who they're doing business with. But I think that when you add other people into the photo, it builds that no like, and trust factor because they see you with other humans having a good time being you know whatever some clients are all about like oh let's laugh and let and then others are have more serious topics you know if they're um, a coach or you know sometimes it's not all um like i don't know just we can cover different moods i guess is what i'm trying no, to yeah, say yeah that's a good way to say it yeah um, and then, you know, just having the different scenery, um, the different locations really adds um, just a great variety into your social media marketing, um, where it's not just your office over and over and over and over again, or your <laughs> living room, or, you know, wherever you can take a selfie. Um, right. 
because we don't live in a bubble. I mean, we did for the last year, but in normal life, in the before times and hopefully in the future times, <laughs> we don't live in a bubble, right? So um, there's a lot of people that talk about brand photography has to be very specific to, you know, exactly you and only you. And I think that that's important and, um, Every member gets a individualized brand photo session, mm -hmm. but I think that I'm trying to create this awareness that there is more than mm -hmm. just your brand, just your specific qual like your specific qualities and interests that people want to see that you interact well with others, that you play well with others, that right. you get out in the world and um, so that's what I think some of the magic is. And then also for the people that don't like to be photographed, <clears throat> um, being in a group setting, it can feel a little awkward, especially if you're an introvert. It kind of, I always joke like it's sort of like a blind date or um, when, you know, when you first show up. But the reality is, is that it's a very warm group. Everybody is there with um, kind of like-minded intentions. And so they are, um, they can really help make it more enjoyable and can lighten the mood and make it easier to laugh and have a good time. Yeah, and you, you know, there's something you say, you always say, I try to capture like who you are as a person rather than just what you do. And you hinted at that before, because yeah. when you're in a group of people and you're getting your picture taken and you laugh or you like do something stupid or something feels really awkward. Like there's plenty of times where like I'm having an awkward moment and I'll just laugh about it and you capture yeah. that. And I could never generate that in just one, our one-on-one -on -one branding session. Yeah. So I just think these are just so valuable. Oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think that that really is, I'm glad you brought that up because that is part of my messaging is it's really about who you are and not just what you do. Yeah, so what I wanna talk about today is how getting these pictures of ourselves, and we can talk a little bit more about who exactly the type of person this is for, but um, how getting pictures of ourselves on the regular could help us love our businesses. And I'm just curious, what are your thoughts about that? When I'm talking about like, you're, you're, the name of this brand is loving, loving my company. That's what yeah. this spoke of your businesses. So when I was thinking about my theme for this month, which is how can we love our businesses more? It's so tiring to be a solopreneur and a creative woman. And when you're working your business, there's all of these like friggin' pain in the ass things that we have to do and it never ends and it yeah. can wear us down. And so when I thought about like, who can I talk to about loving my business? I'm like, oh, Alice has loving my company. She's like, the yeah. Perfect person. <laughs> so let's do first, the question first, how has starting the loving my company brand helped you love your business more? Okay, so for me personally, it's been great because, um, and I think a lot of photographers struggle with this is um, call it sort of the um, feast or famine roller coaster cycle, income yeah. cycle. So you're really busy for a few months and you're just getting bombarded with work, and then it just dips down and you're in the valley of no work, <laughs> no income. Um, so for me, this has provided, um, well, it's increased my revenue, but it's also um, more evenly dispersed. So mm. throughout the year. Um, so I don't have those um, lows anymore. I'm like more even going around the racetrack. <laughs> yeah. So there's not like that panic or the, I'm so overloaded with work. And then like, I have nothing to do for several months. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's been really life-changing for me in that way. Awesome. Um, the name loving my company, um, came from this idea of sort of self-love for your business. Um, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not getting yourself photographs, if you're using 10 year old photographs, you're not giving your business the love that it needs. Right. right. You, um, and these days, there's just such a high demand for content. Um, the people that are really making a difference and being seen are putting out content regularly. And so again, that's kind of um, self-love for your business by 
taking this burden off of yourself, like not having to create images every day, but like come and get them done in a batch and then have fresh seasonal images that, you know, aren't just in the summertime. Um, like where we live, there's four seasons. <laughs> yes. So you get images that show when it's snowing and you get images that show when it's like a beautiful summer mm -hmm. day and we do holiday themes. And so um, you really get a lot that way. But then also the, the sort of double meaning with the name is um, the company that you keep in the, in the membership, right? Like, um, so you're giving your own business love, but then you're also loving the company of the membership because there is sort of built-in networking that's going on. There's resources, people are talking, you know, that it's very interactive um, when, they're, when the members are not in front of the camera. So if I'm photographing one member and the other members are kind of in the wings waiting, there's a lot of talking going on mm -hmm. and a lot of exchange. People are talking shop. They're talking life, <laughs> life, work balance, kids, you know, being yeah. in quarantine with their husbands, whatever it is. Um, and so that was sort of the double meaning for me when I named the business is it's self-love for your business, but then you also end up kind of loving the women that you're with. Yeah. And it's so, can I, I just want to speak to this a little bit because um, I've actually been hired by some of the women in the group and I've hired them and I use their services. Yes. And so it just expanded, you know, my, my circle. Um, also like as an entrepreneur who works from home and talks to people via a computer all day long, yeah. it's so fun to go in person again and be with people. Now in the before times we could interact a lot more. And now like with the COVID protocols, there's less interaction, but it's, it's still safe, but there's still interaction again. Yes. And yeah. for somebody like me, oh my God, I've been craving that. So yes, I enjoy the actual times that we're on set together. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. trying to keep it COVID safe. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, I think that that's just a huge element that um, is very unique to this business model. I want to bring up something else. I've chatted with you about this a little bit before. And I, I mentioned at the beginning of the conversation, like when I did my first, and I will never forget, it was April, 2017. I did my first branding session with you. I had started my business. I had come from another business where I didn't have to put myself out there a lot. I had to put like my customers out there a lot. It was a fitness studio. But when I was launching my own business, I'm like, actually you said to me several times, like people need to see your face. And I was hiding behind stock photos and like visuals that I would have an assistant make for me. And they were great, mm -hmm. but you said over and over, people need to see your face. And I'm like, what? nobody, believe me, Alice, nobody wants to see my face. <laughs> nobody wants to see my face. Right. And <laughs> I did it and I took those pictures and I sat on them for so long. and. And they weren't because they weren't beautiful pictures. I just couldn't see myself in that way. Yeah. And when I finally put them out there, the love that I got from people, they were like, oh, there you are. And look at you and you look amazing. And these are amazing pictures. And it was a total game changer. Yeah, I love that story. Um, and it, like I said, you're not alone in it. And I try to tell people like, just, just, put one out there, see what happens, <laughs> please just give it a try. Yes. And, you know, statistically, if you like, literally there are statistics that show if you are showing images of yourself, you are going to get more engagement. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of fact these days. Mm -hmm. um, so the more that you can put yourself out there, um, the, the better. better it is for your business. Yeah. And one of your <laughs> challenges with um, your content creation, I kind of, stole your hashtag because I think it was like hashtag time to be visible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. And I just think that that is like <clears throat> for both of our businesses, it's, it's just like right on the money. It mm -hmm. is time to be visible. And if you feel like you're at, your business isn't getting the attention it deserves, um, then you might want to consider like putting yourself out there more. Do you remember the time you and I went for coffee and this woman from the community was in line and she said to you, is that, 
is that Jen Liddy or, or something like that? And mm -hmm. she recognized me from you posting photos of me on your Instagram or something or like that. Your, or yeah. It was yeah, something like that. Like she, mm -hmm. she only recognized me because of my photos that you yes. and I had been putting out. Yeah. And I got her as a client. Yeah. I was like, yes, that's her. Go talk to her. She's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then literally the next day I went to meet a potential client because I was very much like, you know, that, what is it? The shoemaker. Oh yeah. The shoes. <laughs> like I wasn't putting photos of myself out there. And this client that I was supposed to be meeting wasn't putting photos of herself out there. So we were literally there to meet each other, Blind. standing side by side and not realizing that. Oh my God, that's right. I forgot about that yeah. story. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's it was one like other, black and white, yeah. There's one other aspect that I wanna kind of talk about because I know that you and I have talked about your clients who've taken pictures of themselves and we both know the pictures are beautiful, that their makeup was done, that their hair was done, like, but they just don't like the photos because they can't stand the way that they look. Mm -hmm. And I was just recently having this conversation with a friend of mine who's a food and body love coach. And she asserts that the more we can see ourselves in pictures, the more we can learn to love ourselves and yeah. love and love on our businesses, right? And I was wondering, what's your experience with like women who have learned to love themselves no matter what they look like in their pictures? Yeah, so it's definitely um, something that I think a lot of women struggle with. And, um, you know, it's easy to do as Jen, you call it like compare and despair, right? Like, oh, she's skinnier or her hair is better, or whatever, or just like internal naysaying, yeah. <laughs> whether you're comparing or not. Um, but what I have found and what I have actually like, literally heard from members is that, you know, they came into this knowing that they were going to get photographs for their business, but what they didn't realize that they were going to walk away with was um, more self-confidence in being in front of the camera, but also just kind of in life. Um, mm. There's something about just practicing, showing up mm -hmm. and just getting into that routine of, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And then, you know, the difference also with this is if you hire a photographer um, for just a one-on-one -on -one branding session, there's a lot of pressure and your brand photographer is going to do a, a really good job at trying to you know, get all of those details for you, but it's kind of like a one and done situation. Whereas with the membership, yes, we're going to get some of those important safe shots, but we're also going to feel like there's time for play and experimenting. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of like, oh, let's do a couple of photos like this. And then maybe it works great. And then maybe it doesn't. And you can try again the next month. And see how it goes from there. And so I think that people are, are pushing themselves a little bit beyond what they might in just a standard session. I would agree with that hundred percent. Like I'm not a terribly playful person. So for me to be playful in these sessions and to just relax is like such a breath of fresh air for me because it's yeah. not like I have to get it done. It has to be perfect. It's like, oh, if these, if these three photos suck, there's like 25 others that I know are going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, at least. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then just the more I get to know everybody, I, you know, I do kind of get to like learn more about their personalities and their interests and their likes or mm -hmm. hear that somebody does the Charleston public with their son. <laughs> and then I might say, hey, why don't you go to Charleston? <laughs> Yes, I do like to That's embarrass Jack by dance. dancing. For those of you that don't know. <laughs> I do like to embarrass Jack by doing in public. Um, so if we're talking about loving our businesses more, finding ways to be more playful, finding ways to be more visible and being confident with that, I know that getting started with getting some branding photos. Like I always make this joke that do you have a, a photo of like your best friend's ear is cut off and it's still oh, like, right. like yeah. your best friend's ear is still <laughs> in your branding photo or something. Um, and so what would you say are a couple of 
like baby steps that somebody could because so now we're talking about like the the woman like me in 2016 and 2017 what are what are some baby steps that she could take before she would be willing to jump into a branding session yeah well i think what you started with me was my profile portrait special which was just a mini studio headshot session so that is you know not going to give you content for a year but it's going to be able you're going to be able to update your linkedin profile portrait and you know your yeah. all your different social media portraits you know you can probably have a few different ones for that um where your hair is you know what it looks like today and not 10 years ago and <laughs> <laughs> you know uh i literally every once in a while still see someone that's using a 10 or 15 year old headshot um and that's just not gonna cut right. it these days you know right right people yeah. really want to know that you're gonna show up how you present yourself online mm -hmm. yeah it's hard for them to trust you yeah and then sometimes i have clients that are ready for more they come to me with sort of like a website starter package um branding session and then from there evolve into the membership um and then some people just come to me and they have you know once i started advertising loving my company and um, putting it out there i've had a few people that are just like yep that's exactly what i need yeah right. well i love it because every single month i never have to look for a new i never take a selfie again i never have to look for a photo like i have just this bank or yeah. a library of photos that I can use in so many different ways. I will say, I, I still worry, like, are people going to get sick of my face? Cause I'm so sick of my <laughs> face. Like I'm so sick of seeing myself. But I think about the other people that I look at online and I'm like, oh, there they are again. Oh, there she is. I love her. Look at her. There she is. And I, I think that we're so hard on ourselves yeah. in our businesses. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think people are, um, gonna get sick of your face like i just literally read something today on instagram one of those um inspirational quotes right and it's like your followers are your cheerleaders they're not your mm. judges right mm. and so they no they're not gonna get sick of you because they're here to cheer you on they like what you're putting out there and um so mm. one think, one more plug i would put in for having a relationship with a photographer, which is what your membership actually allows us to do, is that you get to know us. So you're like, you know, oh, remember, remember, Jen, put your put your chin toward the light, like you always know how to cue me. Um, you know how to read me, you know, when my energy's off, and you know how to like jostle me back into being myself again, when I'm feeling a little yeah. uptight. So I feel like that's such a benefit for for getting into a membership like this or in a, a relationship with a photographer yeah, definitely and you know hopefully we are never exactly what we were in the past right like we're in a constant hopefully evolution right mm -hmm. and so your business today is not what it was a year ago so and true. what you offer today isn't what you offered a year ago necessarily right. um and so we're a we're able to pivot um, the messaging and, you know, the, the yeah. words are your job, but the images <laughs> to go along with that, right? Are yours, yes. Yeah. Um, so I think, and then I was going to also say, like, as a photographer, for me, it's so awesome because I get to work with my favorite clients, like, every month, as opposed to that constant looking for sure. another person you know, yes. another client. Um, yes, I, you know, I love to have new clients, but it's also just really rewarding to um, get to know these 12 women so well and, you know, become friends and, and use each other's businesses too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I think we've made a case for why <laughs> being more visible, having beautiful photos, having professional photos can help you love your business and love on your business a little bit more. And the yeah. side benefit is it also helps you love yourself a little bit more. It's hard to quantify that, but I, I know that that's an outcome of this. What I also know is you and I are part of some bigger groups where we're friends with people 
across the country and they're like dying to work with you. Yeah, they obviously aren't great. nearby and they can't be part of your membership. <laughs> so I know that one of the things you're really bringing to life is to train other photographers how to do this business model, right? That is true. I am um, in the works of creating a beta training program for photographers outside of the Syracuse area um, to to help them learn how to create this business model for themselves so that they can get out of that feast or famine income um, and just really grow in the development with a membership program. And I know, cause I've been there from the start, this was a very heavy lift. All of the ins and outs that you've learned, you had to figure out on your own but you've now put it into kind of a system and you could teach other people how to do that. And that's why I really wanted to talk about this thing in case there's, if you're listening and you're watching and you, you have a friend who's a photographer who's sick of the feast and famine or sick of the like business of weddings and tired of that, that lifestyle. Yeah. Alice can teach people how to do this. Yes. That's what yeah. I want everybody to know. I'm glad you brought up weddings because there's a lot of people that are either a burned out on weddings, which I did weddings for, I don't know, 20 ish years and reached, my, years. <laughs> reached my halting point rather quickly. <laughs> um, but then also I think with COVID, you know, last year wreaked havoc on the wedding industry, but being a wedding photographer is like an incredible skill set to have coming into this. And I think a lot of wedding photographers mm -hmm. are sort of turning to brand photography. Mm -hmm. um, but being able to herd a group of people and direct them, which is what you do as a wedding photographer, is mm -hmm. um, a unique skill set that not everybody has. And I think that it really comes into play um, for this type of business model. Um, and then obviously branding photographers um, would be a great fit because it's just the next um, step for that business. Yeah. So if, if the, um, what is your vision for loving my company? Do you, do you imagine training like hundreds of people in this or what's yeah, your big vision? Thousands. I feel yes. like every town in America. <laughs> Everybody Maybe. could use one of these memberships. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, um, there's, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Like, you know, for sure, every town could use one of these. Yes. And everybody I talk to who is my friend or a client or even one of my, like somebody in my audience, they always comment on the quality of my photos. You have beautiful photos. And I'm like, I don't take them myself. Alice makes it happen. And they always wish they had an Alice. And uh -huh. I'm saying like, Alice could train your people, your photographer, yes. how, yeah. or if you are a photographer, could train you in how to do this and implement this and even out your, um, you know, even out that income roller coaster that we all are, yeah. we all loathe so much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely looking to train, you know, as many photographers as possible, but right now I'm looking for about three to six Perfect. photographers to apply for my beta training program. Great. So, Yeah. So how would people get in touch with you to like connect with you about, about learning more about this and getting trained or just to follow you? Yeah. Um, well, locally in Syracuse, I have um, about two openings for the membership. So if you are a woman entrepreneur and you're looking to up your um, image game and get yourself, you know, time to be visible, um, you can contact me through my Instagram at loving my company or um, on email, hello at loving my company. And then uh, photographers out there, you can go to loving my company as well. And um, there'll be a section for photographers there. Excellent. Click through. Yeah. Excellent. I know that doing interviews is not your favorite thing. So I really appreciate <laughs> you like having oh this gosh. conversation with me because I, I feel like, well, I could talk about this a lot and I have a lot to say. And I know that you do too because of your expertise, but it's so important for us to keep growing ourselves, keep growing our companies, keep growing our businesses. And we have to stay in love with them in order to do that or else it just feels too freaking hard. Yeah, for sure. And this is, um, yeah, this has been a great opportunity for me to practice for all my yes. future 
interviews. <laughs> yes, because you're going to be having so many interviews. People exactly. Are going to to you. I'm telling you, every time Al, I have to tell the audience, every time Alice and I talk about this thing that she does, people are like, what? This is amazing. How can I get on it? But it wasn't easy for her to learn. And so she could really take you from it from A to Z and give you everything you need so that you can start this in your own business and love your own business. Yes. Thank you, Jen. I really appreciate it. Thank that. you, Alice. I'm so excited you were here. Please check out Alice's Instagram at Loving My Company. Um, it, it, her visuals are beautiful. She also does, the one thing I really have to say about Alice, she does an amazing job that I'm not very good at, is she really gives other people a platform. So she shows off her clients and all of that they're doing, and she's so good at that. And I always Aww. admire that. So thank you for doing that. Yeah, I appreciate that. I love to um, share my clients with the world. Yes. And if you are feeling like, I don't know how to put myself out there. I don't like the way I look in photos. I totally get you. I hear you. And I, I actually know Alice is nodding her head because she doesn't, she feels it too. But um, yeah. I can't express how getting into a relationship with a photographer and just practicing being better at getting your photo taken. It's a skill that actually will help you grow your business and love your business even more. Yeah. I just want to end on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. Bye, Thank everybody. We'll so see much. you next week. Bye. Bye.